All right, what's up guys? Back with another video. And uh, as you can see in the title, we got some new tools today. And uh, actually not today, probably about a couple days ago. Anywho, really need this. Man, I got this Earthquake XC half inch impact wrench. Let's get it. So, um, I kind of been complaining about this, my, my existing impact wrench. I got the Craftsman C3, and uh, we can check that out real quick. So, this is it, Craftsman C3. Check that out. It's a pretty good tool. <clears throat> it still works for a lot of stuff. It actually, it actually works for most stuff. Um, Really the only thing it hasn't been taken off lately is like uh, older older uh, bolts or you know high torque bolts like the uh, crank crank bolts, flywheel bolts, stuff like that. But um, it really been struggling and I, I, you know, I needed something better, you know what I mean? And I, I just think that it's getting a little bit old, it's about two years old. Uh, it still works perfectly on everything else, you know, any, any type of like a body body bolts or anything like that it's, it's straight on it's just like the, the real heavy duty bolts it struggles so with that being said um father's day just passed the wife bought me a new tool and um she actually bought me that one uh so she upgraded me to the new um impact wrench so let's see it again so here are the specs on it um as you can see uh 1200 foot pounds of torque breakaway um breakaway torque so uh, that's where you get, that's where, what we need, you know, to loosen those tight bolts up. Um, got a good design, all metal drive chain and a hammer mechanism. Uh, got, has an LED, of course, most joints come with an LED now. Variable speed trigger, so uh, you can kind of like, you know, you can kind of go easy or, or go all out. Uh, the rubber mold, which most of them have now. And then the half inch anvil which is, uh, you know, easy for your half-inch sockets and, and stuff like that. So, that being said, let's open this bad boy. Alright, so here we go. Uh, I don't know where to start. Kind of already started, actually. <clears throat> this is one of those videos where you got to make the video and hurry up so you can open your tool and use it. <laughs> box is gone don't need that all right so this tool costs uh 269 bones uh and this is one of the tools that you kind of can't get a discount on um unless you you know you have the coupon but i think the coupons are these are exempt to the coupon so pretty much you gotta pay full price All right, we got a, a nice plastic, hard plastic carrying case, which is cool, as always. And there she goes. All right, so in this case, you get your, your battery charger, you get your tool, and you get your uh, battery, which in this case also has a slot for an extra battery, which is awesome. I will definitely be getting the extra battery. Um, I'm going to be making a bunch of junkyard runs soon, so um, I definitely want to have two batteries. So, um, yeah, pretty much as simple as it gets here. I'm not sure what this is for. Battery can't fit there. Maybe a half-inch um, extension, maybe, or something like that. Maybe a few tools. Same here. But, uh, yeah, man, that's that. So, um, that's pretty much it for the tool, you know what I mean? Let's, let's hook it up real quick. See if they got a charge. 
It does have a LED. See if we can get it to focus here. It does have a LED uh oh so we we got three reds. I'm not sure if you can see that. We got three reds. I'm not sure if it should be three greens or what, but um let's check it out. Pretty heavy, definitely, definitely heavier than my Craftsman, definitely bigger than my Craftsman. Let's check that out. So looking at my Craftsman, my Craftsman's battery is actually a little bit bigger, as you can see. But when you come to um, this side, um, it has a little bit more right here and right here, which I would assume is because of the bigger motor. Fronts are about the same. So, uh, <clears throat> but this, ah, yeah, this is definitely heavier, which is cool because, you know, that's what it's made for. It's made to do the big shit. So that's that. It is charged up. Not sure how much, but you can see it kick. You can that. That's the drill, man. That's kicking right out of my hand. Let's see this one. A little bit. This is one seems more like a drill than an impact. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge this up, and I may uh, include some uh, footage in the video. But like I said, this actually took the flywheel bolts and the um, crank bolt off of my engine that I need, which this could not do. Which is right here. <clears throat> Yeah, so I had a crank bolt right here and then flywheel bolts that were on the uh, transmission side over here. My C3 would not get them off. This got them off with ease. Uh, so I really don't have no competition video or anything to show you. But this thing is the truth. If you have the money and the bread for it, get this. You really don't need snap-on or anything. This is pretty much beating out snap-on. So if I can uh, link a picture or something in comparison with that. I'll go ahead and do it. But but this is a must have in your garage if you can uh go ahead and drop the $200 for it. 200 plus. So um Yeah, that's pretty much the unboxing on that. Um the Earthquake XC is a must have, must, must have, like I said. The whole Earthquake line I, I'm going to pretty much get probably. I definitely want the little 3 8 one, and I want the polishing tool, and I want the ratchet. I want all of them. So um, it's definitely a good line to invest in, and then you'll have all the batteries for it as well. So uh, go ahead and get you one, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.